What's up guys, this is Christian and in this video we'll analyze a post and the situation of an aspiring developer uh, that I found on LinkedIn and the reason why I'm making this video is because I honestly want to save you because so many of you will end up in this exact situation and you won't know what happened and the problem with this is that failure slowly creeps in and I am a big believer of the fact that you have only a few shots at making something good of yourself because you have limited energy, you have limited time. And what I want for you is to give coding, give this career change a proper shot and make the most amount of money as fast as possible without wasting your energy, without getting frustrated, uh, without getting unnecessary frustrations. Because, you know, this coding journey is a frustration. You are learning something new. You are uh, becoming a new person, really. And uh, I want you to do it right, okay? So I found this post on LinkedIn. And I remember I saw this guy, Catalin, or Catalin, I don't know how, what his name is. Uh, exactly, I don't know how to pronounce it. I found, I saw him like two years ago. He left a mean comment on one of my posts, and at that time I got pissed off. But then I realized, ah, whatever. Maybe he's just frustrated with his job search. So I didn't do so much research. But th he appeared again on my timeline, and uh, I was compelled to leave a comment. You know, and uh, yeah, let's actually read it together. So he says, "It's crazy how many people had advice to give, but not a job." I've had multiple LinkedIn resume and co-reviews. Guess which one of those got me a job? None. I've had well over 50 coffee chats, volunteered at cons and networked until my feet were solid. Nothing. So the next time someone comes at you with unsolicited advice, ask them if they know some, someone hiring, tell them thank you for their time and then end the conversation. If it helped, they wouldn't be giving it away for free. So he seems like he's very frustrated. And I get it. Uh, but... I want to analyze this post because this, again, is not an attack to himself as the person, but to him as the career changer who perhaps doesn't see his things in the right light because he is in the heat of the moment. He doesn't think straight. Uh, he doesn't have that outside perspective that someone like me who doesn't care about him to be honest like i don't i don't know him he's not my friend he's not my buddy i, I don't care about him right uh i'm not invested in, into him at all you know so i can look at him and i can objectively see what's wrong okay so one of the first thing of the first things that i noticed here just by reading this post is that he's extremely negative right so you won't get far in life with a very negative mindset. I understand you've been hit a lot, right? That's one thing. But you have to be positive, right, going through this. Because at the end of the day, your positivity is going to help you find solutions. And he only finds problems. And if you look at this, he had 50 coffee chats and nobody gave him uh, a job. So is the problem all the other people or him who is the common denominator, the denominator. I used to be like this guy, okay? I used to be like, this is unfair, this guy scammed me, this guy did this to me, this guy took my money, this guy lied to me, da -da 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 -da. And then I sat one day and I realized like, oh shit, the only common thing between all these bad guys that screwed me over was me. So I was the problem in the first place. but. I had to like uh, lower my ego to realize I am the problem and I have to fix myself first before I can ask for something from people, right? And it's very hard to do. It's not easy. It's not, uh, it's not quick. You have to have a moment to probably, I hope he has that, uh, what's the name? Uh when you are at the bottom and you're a piece of shit and you realize it, what's the name? I forgot the, the word. There is a saying uh, for that feeling. Okay, I hope he hit rock bottom. That's the name, yes. I hope he hit rock bottom right now, okay? Because everything that he is experiencing is because of him. I'm going to show you why, okay? Now, let's actually see what his journey in programming was because 
you need to know, okay? It's easy to look at a post like this and take him as, uh, as face value and you do no research and you get discouraged and you say, oh, coding is impossible. I'm not gonna get hired, okay? Let's look at his uh, website. Hold on, my Uber Eats is coming now. All right. So this is his website, but before we get into that, let's actually find his GitHub, okay? This is more important than his actual website. Let's look at this. Look when he made his GitHub account, 2012. 12 years, do you understand? <laughs> do you understand? <laughs> 12 years. I got hired here. <laughs> do you understand how bad this is? I, 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 I literally want you to pause this video and to reflect on this dude's journey. So he started coding 12 years ago. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he wasn't like 100% sure, but he, that, that was the time when he had his first idea about becoming a coder, 12 years ago. 12, 12 years ago! I was 18, 17. Sorry for screaming, actually I'm not sorry, but whatever. So he started in 2012, 2013, nothing, 2014, nothing, 2015, nothing, 2016, nothing, 17, nothing, 18, nothing, 19, nothing, 2020, nothing, 2021, nothing, 2022, nothing, okay, 2022. So he started coding, you see? Here he made like a lot of progress. I don't know what he did exactly, and I'm not gonna research this. Uh, Okay, so he did some stuff in 2022, 2023, almost nothing, really, 2024, nothing. Okay, so basically, he coded since March till September, which is what, six months? So in 12 years, since he opened his GitHub account, he only coded in 2022 for six months. Okay. What happened with him is that he reached a plateau that most juniors are reaching because when you're a junior, you don't know what you have to do, right? You just roughly do stuff that people tell you and you hope it's gonna, something's gonna work out, okay? That's what happens. And then he reached a point where he had no more guidance, okay? And then what's happening here, he, here he lost motivation, okay? Here, he tried to get it back up again. Nothing works. And then here he completely lost motivation. Okay. And then you can see the venting happening in this post. Okay. Now let's look at his portfolio. Okay. Because probably he's very good, right? In those two years, he got so good and he said, you know what? I have nothing to improve on. Okay, hold on, it takes a minute. All right, again, I'm not gonna sign up to this shit or maybe whatever, let me just, hold on. Okay, so I put some short password, let's see if, okay. Why would I have a login button on my sign up form? I should see sign up here or some bullshit like that. Again, horrible user experience. Password must be at least eight characters long and he got rid of everything I wrote in there. As you can see, like the user experience, like it's horrible. Like I don't even know where to take this guy because when someone is gonna look at your GitHub profile and see that you started it in 2012 and you have this picture and the simple form like this and you cannot even do it properly, they will think you're a fucking loser. That's what they will think, but they will not tell you this. They will tell you, try harder. And that is literally the thing that frustrates me the most in this coding fucking space, nobody tells things as they are. They are always sugar coatings to make you feel good about yourself because they don't want to hurt your feelings. But then you end up in a fucking situation like this 
where you do not get paid, you stay in your shitty job, you do not make the money that you want, you do not have the lifestyle that you want, but at least your feelings weren't hurt. It's horrible. I don't understand these this people. And again, it's not his fault. It's the fucking environment where he's hanging out, where people give him advice and tips and do not tell him he fucking sucks. This is the advice he needs to get for someone who's been coding for 12 years. This is what you have in your portfolio. This is not fucking acceptable. What the fuck is this? This is why you guys are not getting fucking hired. Because you're not being told off. Okay? <sighs> but I care about you guys more than you care about yourself, right? Um, let me show you this. So, some of my students actually left some comments for this guy. Because, to me, like, he, he's lack of achievements was impressive, right? Uh, and I'm going to leave this link again, read everything. There is no point for me to read all this stuff. But again, it's a joke, okay? It's a joke. I'm frozen. I hate this computer. <sighs> okay, this guy is a joke. Uh, not him. But his skills, okay? I'm, I'm pretty sure he's a good person, right? Uh, but what happened to him is that he's been fucked and beat down because he doesn't have the guidance. And he ended up in a situation where he became now something that I call a LinkedIn zombie, okay? A LinkedIn zombie is someone who hangs out on LinkedIn, even though it's the worst platform to hang out, just to network, just to apply to jobs. It's fucking horrible. I fucking hate LinkedIn. <coughs> Unfortunately for him and other bootcamp grads and other self-taught developers, that's where they need to hang out. And it, it, it sucks. It's horrible. I wish you'll never get there, okay? And you don't have to get there, but you need to buy my stuff. Like, literally, you have no other option uh, than to buy my stuff. Because I'm going to show you, sorry for picking my nose, I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do day in day out we have all the freaking course structured we have a team project we have a job guarantee we have a resume with job experience all you have to do is do the work let me show you some uh recent all right let's see this is a new student please don't disappoint me <laughs> okay so it's, he still has a bit of work to do Okay, but it's his first week in the program. He does this. He doesn't make cat clothes like you do in other programs. You know what I mean? Uh, my, my face is frozen. So, you know what? I'm going to end this video. Go on my website. The first thing in the description. Apply just to see what I offer. Okay, you don't have to buy anything. I highly recommend you to at least check out what I have. Save yourself from wasting years of your life on LinkedIn on this stupid platform and just get paid and fuck off and go to Ibiza, go to Miami go and live your life you don't need to code like a maniac besides your full time job, there is no need to do that just do it 6 months 9 months, 12 months, do it properly don't do it for 12 years it fucking sucks ass <coughs> Stop beating off and apply to my mentorship. First link in the description. Peace out.